video is about a specific topic where I list seven habits that helped me capture some early success in my life and career. In the year 2021, I achieved the most success I've ever had in my relationships, in my personal life, with my physique, and also with my career. So how did I do this? What habits helped me out? and enabled me to achieve all my goals and conquer all my fears and just become the best version of myself in 2021. Find out in this video. And the one key caveat that I wanted to point out is these habits are only effective if you keep doing them. That's, that's the key here. If you stop doing these on a daily basis, they will affect your life and the progress that you earn or have earned will not persist. That's exactly what happened to me, but I can document the most successful point in my life was 2021. And these are the habits that I followed. Food of fitness became a goal of, for me in the year 2021 and everything in my life revolved around fitness. Waking up early, hitting the gym, building my physique, eating the right food, keeping my mental health on track. Fitness became the cornerstone for my life and this helped me achieve success like I never thought I would. I got the job I wanted, I got the social benefits that I wanted. Everything that I wanted was aligned with the goal of attaining a better body and being fit and functional and being able to achieve my goals. This was the number one reason I could focus on myself and pursue the goals I had because this gave me the base in terms of self-confidence and the ability to push myself. The second most important habit for me was learning. The way I optimized my learning played a huge role in landing the jobs that I wanted, completing the internships that I wanted to complete, and also just learning about the world. What really helped me was to pair exercise and learning together. As I realized that my neurons would fire more randomly and I would just have epiphanies that I wouldn't have before if I didn't pair it with um, exercise. A huge chunk of my learning routine was the ability to just sit and focus um, and use the Pomodoro technique to use blocks of 25 minutes and breaks of five or 10 minutes to just digest as much information as possible. Using a journal and logging in the, the learnings that I had in in sessions and buckets really helped me categorize the stuff I was learning. And I used various tools such as Udemy, YouTube, as well as eBooks to just push the boundaries of what I would learn, either for work, for pleasure, for business, um, or for spirituality. Another huge habit that helped me center myself and find my purpose with spirituality and the active pursuit of just feeling mindful about my day and being grateful for the things I have in my life and the people I have in my life and just being mindful of where we are in life and taking the time to cleanse any negative thoughts that I might have and try to pursue the things that motivate me and make me feel happy. So meditation and just being mindful was a huge habit that I picked up during my most successful year. The next key habit that helped me conquer all my pursuits was game face on. 
this is a state of mind um, that I like to put myself into, whether it's for big interviews, whether it's for networking events, whether it's for um, just going to my job and going to my office and leading a meeting. Game face on, when it matters most, when the stakes are high, you do want to convert, whether that's a sales call, whether that's an important person you want in your life. Having that killer mindset where you're just able to focus on the task at hand and just execute, regardless of if you feel tired or if you feel like you're not good enough, if you just swallow your pride and swallow your anxiety and just perform to the best of your ability, that is a key habit. And that's what I like to call game face on. For every big interview, for every big moment in my life, I've channeled this this habit, and this has helped me out a ton. Habit number five is what I like to call momentum. Momentum is key in everyone's life. There's going to be purple patches or periods where everything is going to go right for you. Your fitness regime is going to be on track. You're going to be making progress in life. You just you just have caught that perfect storm. And this is what I like to call momentum. And when you ride these highs, when you find yourself conquering a lot of life, you have to keep this going for as long as possible. And that's what I try to do. I try to take advantage of every opportunity to keep the mom- momentum going and to keep pursuing my my um, my goals and make sure that I don't fail and I don't stop. The next habit is extremely important. This habit is failing. And what I mean by failing is learning from your failures. There's gonna come a time where nothing goes right. All the goals that you pursued are now no longer goals. How do you get yourself out of this? This is where the growth period happens and every failure, whether that's being unemployed, whether that's being fat and unfit, whether that's being without any purpose in life, failures teach us the most. And this is what pushes us to become better versions of ourselves. And it's a key habit. For me, life has never been a straight curve. It's always been ups and downs. And these waves, the downs, teach me a lot more than the highs. So failing often, failing fast, these are key habits that will keep you on track in the long term. The last habit that brought me a huge amount of success in the year 2021 was visualizing. I wasn't at the point that I wanted to be when I started this year, neither physically, not in my career, or you know in my social life but i had the uncanny ability to visualize the one the man i wanted to turn into and you know the things i wanted in my life and the places i wanted to visit and the places i wanted to be and the kind of people i wanted to be with i had an idea i had a vision and i wanted to execute on this and that kept me going The last and most important habit is to visualize. Everything that you imagine in your life right now can change and you can drive that change. And it's very important to execute, especially when you visualize. These are all the learnings that I have. Hopefully they helped you out and you will embrace the mercurial spirit. Take care and please like, comment, and subscribe.